everyone, it's Anne again. Thank you very much for clicking on the video today. What I have here are some uh, little uh, charms, I guess you call them, or fobs. And they, they look like they might have been done with resin, but they haven't been done with resin. Uh, in fact, they've been done using embossing powder. And I've tried to do things in the past to give them a high glaze with embossing powder and I always ended up with a big mess uh, using the Versamark and the embossing powder and having to keep doing the layers. Uh, I would just get the embossing powder everywhere and never really be happy with the results. But I found this way is so quick, it only uh, entails one heating of the embossing powder and you get a really nice result. So I'll just move them over to the side and show you how I did them. We're going to need some wire. Now this wire doesn't have the gauge on it but um, as you can see it's quite uh, quite stiff but still very bendable. <coughs> you can use any sort of wire. I've got a thinner one here which I'll use in a second. Um, Again, this doesn't have a marking on it, but this is very thin, like beading wire. But it, it essentially needs to be thick enough to hold a little bit of glue, as you'll see. So I'm taking a piece, and the length of the piece depends on what I'm going to use to wrap around to create my shape, whether it be a circle or a square or whatever. I'm just going to use my old glue tube and put that on. Take it around the back and then start to twist it and keep going until you get a fair bit of twist up the length of the, the wire. And then I just trim that off with the wire scissors. Okay, and then using my round nose pliers. I'm just going to, sorry I need to put my glasses on, um, just going to grab that and make a loop like that and then slip it off the tube. Once I've done that I like to give it a bit of a bash just to flatten it out a bit. Okay. Now choose your picture. I've got this picture here. I think that will fit. I'll just test it. Yes, it should just fit. So <coughs> I'll, I'll just trim that one off. We can use the lady for something else. Okay, now take your wire ring and if you've got your glue in a container that's got a very fine nozzle on it this will make life a lot easier. Um, if not you can always just put a little puddle of glue on your table and dip the edge in it. Essentially what I'm going to do is just to try and get a little bead of glue all around the edge on that wire on one side. Just like that. Okay, when I've done that, I'm going to put the glue side down in position on the picture. And if you're using glitter glue, as I do mostly these days, it doesn't take very long at all to stick down. If you've got a glue that takes a while, you might want to put something heavy on top of it just to keep it flat while it dries. This one's being obstinate now so I will put something heavy on top of it. I'll move it over there. Stick that old iron on there. Right, we'll make another one. This time using the thinner wire. I'll come back to that one in a minute, sorry. I've cut a piece of the thin wire and in order to make it thicker I'm going to double it and then put a twist in it. And to do that an easy way I'm going to use this bulldog clip. 
I'm sorry I'm going to be off camera here but I'm going to clip the ball gob clip on the table and put the two ends underneath the clip to hold it tight for me and then with the other end I'll just shift that round a bit I've got where the loop is I'm going to put the pencil in there and hold it and just turn that around like that and it will twist the wire and, and just keep going until you've got enough twists in it and it's it's one kind of one twisted wire rather than looks like two wires together I'll just do a few more okay that's enough now take the bulldog clip off remove the pencil come on don't be stubborn It's being stubborn, we'll just cut it off. Okay, and we've, what we've got now is essentially one wire. That's two pieces twisted together. Now we're just going to use them in exactly the same way as we did the other. So, get my uh, circle for twisting it round. Put the two ends together. Twist them like that. And then snip it off. Get my round nose pliers. make a loop. Give it a little bash and there's another picture. Oh, we'll use this. This is a piece of um, book page. I've got a little butterfly. It's a sticker. I'll just peel off the backing. And we might try and use this area. I'll put the butterfly down. The glue. I always forget to put the lid back on my glue, so I have trouble getting it out the next time because it's got a, a dry piece on the end. Give it a little squash at the side so it makes it a little bit more oval and put that down to dry. We'll just leave that one over there. We'll go back to this one. Okay, that's dry enough now. So the next thing to do is to get the uh, embossing powder. This one is what they call UT, U T double E, ultra thick embossing enamel. Um, and I'm just going to get my pliers so I can hold this. Take that bit off there, it's a bit, a bit long for the pliers. And I'm just going to put an amount of embossing powder all over the image. Just spread it out. I want it to go to the edges of the inside of the wire. It doesn't matter if it 
falls over the wire and goes on the other side. That's not a problem. But I'm just going to wipe it off the actual wire with the back of the little spoon. Once I've done that, I'm going to get the heat tool. And I, if I try it from the top, it's going to blow the powder away. So I don't know if I can get this on camera, but I'm going to come up from underneath. You can see that that's all melted now and it's quite a thick coating. We're going to trim that in a second but just make sure it dries. I'm just going to put that one over there to cool down and we'll come back to this one and do this one. Spoonful of the powder embossing in all and just put it on top. Might have a bit much on that one. Take a little bit off. There. Spread it out like so. Okay, get the heat tool. Should be quicker this time because the heat tool's heated up. Okay. And that's, as you can see, hopefully, that's covered that oval shape. Okay, now we'll swap over again and go back to this one because it's cooled down now. Once it's cooled, get a nice sharp pair of small scissors and just go around the edge of the wire and trim it right back to the wire. Okay, there we have it. Bring it up to the camera. I hope you can see that. It's, the lighting's not very good today because it's very overcast outside. In fact, it's raining. So I'm reliant on these um, little spotlights. They may not be picking it up as well as I would like. All right, that's that one. Now we'll go back and do this one. Now I'm sure I'm not the first person to have done this, but I haven't seen them on YouTube and I do look at a lot of things that pop up. <clears throat> but I remembered I used to make flowers years ago using this method and instead of using paper I'd stick them onto fabric and uh, and they become the petals of flowers and they were really nice. Um, I suppose you could use fabric for these too. I haven't tried that but that could be a, another experiment. Okay that one's done now. So there we have it. Um, they're so easy and quick. I mean, I mean you can literally make one in, in a minute. Um, I'll show you these ones that I made, these other ones. Um, that was just a picture from a, a book and that was a little uh, bee. These ones again are, are um, just book pages and that's a piece of the, uh, wrapping paper. Uh, <clears throat> this one is a little bit different. I, I had a piece of tissue paper which I stamped on. I don't know if you can see that. Um, put it down maybe it's better. It's quite transparent. 
Um, you can see my finger through it. And that one's rather pretty. And this one, I think it's probably my favourite one. This one is um, a lift, little piece of leftover collage from something I was doing. And yeah, I think that one's really pretty. Anyway, <clears throat> that's it. Um, I hope you have some fun making them. And I don't know um, whether they would be strong enough to use as dangles. They probably would. Um, and certainly if you put a couple back to back, you could glue them back to back and uh, they, it would make them stronger. But I, I'm going to just put these on some tags. Um, I think, you know, just adding them to a tag with a, maybe with a little um, split pin or um, just a, a hole punch and a rivet or something like that. Uh, what else? Let's see. Yeah, you could just put them on. There's a, a little dangle on your tags and things. Okay. I hope you have fun making yours. And I'll see you uh, very soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.